Well, the fastest man alive, Usain Saint Leobold, says he would give up glory in track and field to score the winning goal in a UEFA Champions League final. We're well, speaking to ITV Sports ahead of Manchester United's FA Cup meeting with Fulham on Sunday, the eight time Olympic gold medalist said he would give it all up for football success. You say, would you have given it all up to score the winning goal for Manchester United <laughs> in the Champions League final? To play a career as long as these guys, definitely. As I, I know, I love football that much, you know what I mean? Bro. To win the Champions League, score the final goal, to win would be brilliant. <laughs> no, man, seeing you, seeing you line up for the, um, for the 100 metres Olympic business, <laughs> I don't know if I would swap that for anything, man. All right, so, y'all are smiling, Lance and Ricardo. Is you saying kidding? The Gleaner newspaper, Jamaica Oldest Daily, certainly thinks so. This is what they said. Bold kids about giving up records for Champions League goals. I, be right. I believe it was something that he felt was appropriate given where he was and who he was talking to. I, I can't believe that he would be serious about that. We know how much he loves football. He has always said that. But... You know, there's something that uh, has to be said about the grass being greener on the other side. <laughs> because you, you hear what Ian Wright said, that he, if he was in both position, that 100-meter final lining yeah. up there, there, that's irreplaceable. So I, I just think that both said it because of where he was and how he was feeling at the time. And he just wanted people to know how much he loves Man United and, and the football. But I don't think genuinely in his heart of hearts that he could be serious about that. All right, let's hear what the next one has to say. The next one? <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself? I disagree. It's too obvious. Why I you? disagree wholeheartedly. I think Bolt is very, very serious. I think he would give up Olympic medals, world titles, world records to score a goal in a Champions League final. And I tell you why I say that. <laughs> in my experience, speaking to many, many athletes in Jamaica and across the Caribbean, I find that a lot of male track and field athletes are not lovers of track and field. They are lovers of basketball. They are lovers of football. They might be lovers of other sports. But they do track and field for the sole reason that they are good at it. And if they were as good at other sports as they are at track and field, it would be an absolute no-brainer that what they want to do is that other sport. As I said, for the, the, the more popular ones, the most popular ones would be football and basketball. That's what I have found when I speak to many of these athletes, and that is over a number of years. So Usain Bolt saying that he would give up Track and field glory mm. for, Champions, for League glory. Champions League glory does yeah. not surprise me one bit. And I think he is very, very serious. Yeah, but you see, the, with the thing that is missing from the equation, Ricardo, and I'm happy that you, you referenced this when you were speaking just now. If they were as good in another sport as they are in their sport, how would they feel? Yeah. But it's obvious, and Bo knows he isn't anywhere near as good a footballer as he's a track and field athlete. So, for me, it's just a pipe dream. But, it's a no, pipe dream. It is, but, it, is, it is a fantasy. But, but that's, that's why the question is phrased the way it is. Mm. Would you give up your track and field glory to score a goal in a UEFA Champions League final? Because, clearly, we know that it will not happen, Lance. We know that it will never happen. <laughs> but would Bo prefer to be... A football star scoring in a Champions League final than being a track and field star winning Olympic gold medals. I believe that he would much prefer to have been a football star scoring in a Champions League final. And the fact that after his track and field career, he went to Australia, you know, he went for these trials. Mm. It means that he's taking this football very, very seriously. And he was just hoping that, you know, that dream that he had of being a top striker. He joked about being, um, I think it's better than Rashford. Yeah, and, yeah, well, faster. He didn't faster. say better. He said faster than Oh, well, then that's Rashford. true. He's faster. Yeah, <laughs> yes, he is. But, but here's the thing. I think if we did a survey of Caribbean male track and field athletes, right, you would find that they 
would much prefer to be doing other sports, to be good at other sports than track and field. It's just that sometimes you settle, and I use settle loosely, for what you are good at. I think there are very few athletes, Lance and Mariah, mm. <clears throat> if they had the same ability at track and field um, or at football as they do at track and field or at basketball as they do at track and field mm. and had the same opportunities, it would be a no-brainer for them and yeah. track and field would not be the choice. Yeah. You know, I've heard fans criticize some sports stars in the past for being ungrateful. Ungrateful from the standpoint of uh, not appreciating what their particular sport has given to them. And I, yeah. you know, I remember, you know, Brian Lara coming under a lot of pressure at one point in his career when he said cricket is destroying his life. And, um, you know, a lot of people didn't take kindly to that stadium because they felt that given what, given what cricket meant to Brian Lara and what right. he achieved from cricket, it, it, it didn't ring well for, to hear him say things like that. And I don't want to say Bolt is being ungrateful to track and field because no, it's of what not track about and field. Being ungrateful. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm just saying that um, I, I believe that what Bolt has in his head about his love for football yeah. and where he was. He was talking to Ian Wright in, in, in a football arena. And he's passionate, so do you yeah, think so it's I, natural I just think it aesthetic. felt good for him to say that. But I just, I just, I just doubt whether if he re that he really, really means that. Well, I think he really meant it. Um, and I wish he could get the bo <laughs> best of both worlds. Our producer is, is, is saying to me that um, Sir Garfield Sobers um, has said that he would have preferred golf over cricket. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, when yeah, you're but, good at what you do, it's okay yeah, but, to say those things. Yeah, but yeah, Sir Garfield really started playing golf seriously near to the back end of his cricketing career. But that's mm. like balls with the football, Lance. Yeah, and, and I'm no, saying, I think Bolt has always wanted yeah, and, to no, be but I, what I'm a saying great footballer. That at that stage of their careers, mm -hmm. it is almost an unfair question to ask them because they have already gotten all they can get out of their primary sport. Both has gotten all his, he has gotten out of track and field. That is behind him, right? Sir no. Garfield ha, ha, is still regarded as the greatest cricketer of all time, and that is documented, right? So his love for golf would make him feel as if he loves golf more than cricket. But no, it, no, it, no, Sir Lance. Actually, I disagree here. I mm -hmm. think it, it is a fair time to ask the question. And part of the reason for that is that you've already lived the dream in one particular sport. You know everything that it has to offer. Yet still, that dream of wanting something, something else. else is still strong. Even though you've been at the very pinnacle of the sport that you are that you have well that you were involved in in the case of Usain Bolt. He's been to the pinnacle of track and field. Um, there is no Jamaican athlete, there are very few athletes the world over who have enjoyed the type of success that he had in track and field. Yet still, he is willing to say, I would have preferred to score in a Champions League final. So what does that say? You can never please people because you can be the best at something and you still want something else. It's like, let, let me give you another example. It's slightly different, right? Yes, because yes. it's within the same sport. Yes. But you remember Melaine Walker? Yes. You remember her story? Melaine Walker was on her way to breaking the 400 meter hurdles world record for women. And she said to her coach, Stephen Francis, which was a lifelong dream of hers, I want to run the 100 meter hurdles. Yes, I'm having success at 400 hurdles, but what I really love is the sprint hurdles, and that is what I want to do. And to this very day, Melaine Walker is chasing that dream. And I think that also happened to Usain Bolt in a way where he left track and field and started chasing that football dream because football means something a little bit more special to him because that's a sport he's he always loved. loved. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He really part, loves it. Part of the issue here, which we haven't addressed, is that Bolt didn't like to train by his own admission. He didn't like to train. So the rigors of the track and field prop preparation that brought him glory is a downside for him. It is not something that he genuinely enjoyed. Now, football for him is an enjoyment thing. It's not, it's not serious for him. 
So it's easy for him to talk about his love for football. But Bolt is not the only one, though, Sir Lance. I understand there, there that, are, but we're talking about There are many track Bolt. and field athletes yes. I heard you, yes. who don't enjoy the training, which is probably part of why a lot of them as well prefer other sports because maybe they think the training is easier. Yeah. And the truth is, it probably is um, because training for track and field is, is not easy. I, I, sometimes I don't understand how world-class track and field athletes put their bodies through what they put it through day in, day out. So I don't think that's just bold. Um, but I think there are many, many athletes who would give up their track and field success for success in, in other sports. And there are yeah, other reasons yeah, for I, it as well, right? Before you continue right? though, yeah. Yeah, Bolt's the... track and field success wasn't normal. So, so just to say give up field. your track and field success by itself is to me understating Bolt's track and field success. It was, it was phenomenal. It was yes. like we've never that, seen before. But Lance, you're so, yeah, behaving yeah, as if we said yeah, it, he yeah, said yeah, it. Yes, sir, Lance, no, there I'm is. I'm talking to Ricardo. There is, sir, Lance. Yes, because, <laughs> because, because Bolt said that. Ricardo is the one who is suggesting that he believes Bolt when he says he would give all of this up yes. for a Champions League final goal. Eight-time yes. Olympic yes. gold medalist, 11-time world championship gold medalist. And he would especially give it up if he was doing it in the colors of Manchester United. Okay, well, this is the closest I will agree, I will come to agreeing with you. Mm -hmm. He could be serious, yes. Okay. But he's serious because he's not thinking about it thoroughly. <laughs> so can we end this segment on that note? Lance gets the last no. say. No, 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 yes. no, 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 Lance, no, Lance. You don't, you don't, you saying both, Sir Lance. Yes has had years to think about this. Usain Bolt was probably happy that someone finally asked him the question oh. so he could give them that okay. answer. Right. So, so do you believe, do you believe yeah. if he was in a World Athletics Forum and Sebastian Coe asked him the same question, do you think his answer would be the same? He would be more diplomatic. So it would be the same in, 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 in a diplomatic In other words, he would way? give a more honest answer. No, he would give a more <laughs> diplomatic answer. So maybe in a track and field forum, he would say, track and field has given me so much, and I'm grateful for everything track and field has given to me. But I like football as well. No, there would be no but. He would end it at that because <laughs> you right. say Bolt is well, a smart man. <laughs> no buts. We have to end this segment here. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and when we come back, we have a lot more just for you. Stay with Sportsmax on YouTube and follow us on all social pages for updates, news and entertainment. <laughs> 